If you're a down-to-earth kind of person with a skill set in science and technology, consider becoming a petroleum geologist. You'll gather and study information to determine where best to drill for oil and gas. We spoke with a petroleum geologist to find out all about it. Hi, my name is Char Anderson and I'm a petroleum geologist. A petroleum geologist explores for oil and gas um, that is beneath the Earth's surface. As a geologist, even a petroleum geologist, you're really a treasure hunter. You're exploring for you know, oil, gas, uh, diamonds, gold, uh, anything. So oil and gas wells are drilled and we send geophysical tools down the hole and actually take images and with those geophysical logs, we call them, we can identify certain rock properties including the type of rock it is, um, the type of liquid that's there, whether or not we can get the gas out, so the permeability or how tight the rock is, and the porosity or how many pores there are that actually could hold the oil and gas. So we use a combination of these things uh, to try to figure out, you know, where's the best area that we could find oil, gas, or even condensate. Typically, I would, you know, come into the office. A lot of the work that I do is actually on the computer. So there are multiple programs that I use to actually analyze the geophysical logs that come back from the wells. I would look at some of the data that I have and uh, analyses that I have and apply that, you know, in a three-dimensional way. I would collaborate with the people that I work with, you know, we'd have meetings and talk about, you know, what's the next step. Say you have a thousand wells you have to look at. It takes a few months to look at a thousand wells and then, of course, you got to look at them again when you get new data and you have to apply that and kind of build up your model and build up what, what it is you're looking at. It's one of the best parts about being a geologist is that it's a multidisciplinary team environment. So you work with engineers, you work with other geologists that specialize in you know, special niches, and you work together to come up with your final product, whatever it is you're looking for. Depending on what portion or what part in our exploration that we're at, we could be you know, in the field collecting samples, or we could be at the core research facility collecting core samples. Um, we could be separating or splitting samples to send off to laboratories to have analyses done. Uh, we could be looking at those analyses that we've received. I actually went to university late in life, and, uh, and I didn't know geology existed. And I took a class in geology that was really all about rocks. I've always been very interested in the earth and, and the way things work. And so after I took this course, I was hooked. Minimum requirements uh, start off with a bachelor's degree in geology. Uh, and I think from there, what we look for is someone who has, is passionate about, about geology, uh, wants to learn and is curious. You do need to have a passion for the earth and for rocks in order to be a geologist. Uh, you'd probably get very bored if you didn't think rocks were cool. <laughs> It helps to be creative or, and imaginative. Uh, you do have to do a lot of interpretation and kind of think in a three-dimensional way. We do require first aid training, so everybody's first aid training is up to date. They teach us a little bit of survival first aid training as well. Also, because we're working with oil and gas, we take uh, our H2S Alive, which teaches us how to deal with, you know, if there's H2S poisoning or anything in the area. I would say I learn something new every day from my, from my team members or from reading papers and researching um, or even just from you know, learning new programs or, or expanding my knowledge on uh, the programs that I'm working with. It's exciting when you find something. You, you do a lot of interpretation and, and, you, and you're putting a lot of effort into finding oil and gas, but when somebody drills it and they hit some oil or some gas and a company's making millions of dollars off of it, it's a big pat on the back. Being a petroleum geologist is great. It's rewarding. I love it. I love everything that I do. Uh, my job's exciting, and, uh, and I will do it for the rest of my life. To become a petroleum geologist, you'll need a Bachelor of Science degree in geology. Discover more about this occupation, such as educational requirements and salary ranges, in the occupational profile on the Alice website. And learn more about related occupations like exploration geophysicist or petroleum engineer. Make the most of your future. 
go to alice.alberta.ca.